think the reason the college attracted me was generally the facilities are really set up for the land-based industries. Um, you know, the, the the sort of land that you're working on um, is great for sort of building on your experience for the future. Um, you know, I wanted to learn more about trees and woodlands, and so it really kind of catered for that. So once you finish the forestry degree or the, uh, the arboriculture degree, um, it really sets you up to work for say, companies like the Forestry Commission, um, UPM Tillhill, undertaking consultancy work, writing tree reports, um, measuring timber as well, especially with the new wood fuel um, initiative coming in. Um, so yeah, it really gives you a good understanding of that. I've been doing a work placement with the National Trust, so I'd like to end up working for the National Trust on a permanent basis. Um, as a forestry advisor, um, you know, that's the long-term goal. I've come from a sort of a history of in and out of various work and, you know, I've always had a, a, a good understanding of, you know, the British countryside and um, that's why I'm deciding to top up next year in, for the BSc Honours in Countryside. Uh, management and you know that's where I feel comfortable you see and Ask and Brian's really sort of helped me uh, develop the skills to sort of go further in education and um, you know go for the full degree and um, you know that, that that's uh, it was really supportive Ask and Brian was very supportive of that as well so The facilities, the, the lecturers are fantastic, you know, real diverse uh, mix of experience and obviously they all come from the respective disciplines as well and so you know that what they're telling you is actually what goes on in the real world as well so um, you know that was give, give you a great understanding of what to expect when you finish at college and um, you know what sort of work you'll be going into so yeah it was fantastic for that.